Okay, let's see. Where do we plug this fucker in at? I think it's up here. would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Okay, did I plug it in? Okay, well, I have no idea what's going on. There's no map. Excellent. I guess I'm done here. See what everybody has to say. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. Hmm. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Which will be never, because... Well, at least until this franchise stops making money. Have... Have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But... It's impossible. There are existential differences. Insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But knowing what's about to happen, wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? 
We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. <laughs> Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? We have, and it's never worked. We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Is that even possible? Probably not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since... Well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. Did you look for me, Dad? When I was gone? Every day. Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look. Searching for your name or variations of it. Hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? I used to think I knew her well, but clearly that wasn't the case. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seemed so sincere, though. Like she really wanted to make a difference. Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? Everything. Don't get weird on me, Desmond. No, it, it's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. All right, then. You should think about getting back in the Animus. We've got to find that key. We should probably get back to Connor. Ah, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. Would we just be playing like the initial version of Spore? That'd be cool. Like crank that fucker back like two billion years to see what happens. So this is how it started. What are you up to? Just brushing up on my American history. Well, I say history. They certainly teach you strange things in the States. Like what? Well, for all the talk of this being a revolutionary war, it was a civil one. Well, not that kind of civil. I mean, there was no America versus Britain. It was Brit-on-Brit Brit action. And you can clearly see how the whole thing got started. One war gave birth to the other. You mean the Seven Years' War? Exactly. Seems the Crown overspent in its attempt to keep the French out, wound up with a great deal of debt. Believing that the colonists should help to shoulder the burden, new taxes were created. It was a reasonable request, even if Parliament was rather, well, undiplomatic about it. It's not really fair to tax people for a war they didn't want any part of. What? Didn't want any part of? Did you not notice George Washington with Edward Braddock? He was right there in the middle of it. So here you have the Crown spending who knows how much money to secure a place for the colonists to thrive, and then, when they ask for a little bit of help... Right, look, think of it this way. King George and the colonists, they all go out to dinner, right? And when the bill comes, George asks for them to kick in and pay their share. Fair enough. But keep in mind, he's been taking them out to dinner gratis for decades now. And the colonists, oh no, they insist they only had a glass of water and a side salad. Never mind the table's full of half-eaten food and empty bottles of wine. And when the king points this out, what do the colonists do? Oh, they flip the table over and they storm out the restaurant. Probably intending to turn later and burn it down. You left out the part where the king pointed a gun at the colonists and asked them to cover dinner for everyone in the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, interesting take. If he pulled out a gun, and I'm not sure he did, it would only have been after the hundredth failed attempt at getting them to pay their fair share. But how do you define someone's fair share? Well, with a war, apparently. 
I wonder how many other places like this exist. There are dozens of them, all over the world. And somehow no one's ever found one before us. I don't think that's true. Oh? When I was at Abstergo, Vidic talked about silencing discoveries made by non-Templars. And I'm sure Abstergo has dug up plenty. The things they must know. Regretting throwing in with us? <laughs> no. Just looking forward to when we can finally trounce those bastards so I can dive into their archives. Oh, I think I've found a lead on another power source. Later, Desmond. I'm in the middle of something very important right now. Just, you, you, that's a rule. Just follow that as a rule. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive? That's mental. And I mean, she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old. So powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Was it weird seeing Cross? What do you mean? It's different for you. You don't know about what happened, I guess. For a long time, he was... important to us. He was a different person. Sean said he was a sleeper agent. Like Lucy. It was different. She made a choice, but Cross... If you read the files... Abstergo just... They... They did terrible things to him. Rebecca? You're lucky. We all are. We have people who care about us, who look out for us. He was all alone, and the people he thought he could trust, they used him. Did you know him? No, but I knew Hannah. Who's that? She tried to help him. She trusted him. But there was a raid about a year ago. She stayed behind so the others could escape. Tried to reason with him. ...to see if she could fix things. Well, what happened? What do you think happened? He killed her. That's what he does. That's all he knows how to do. Sometimes it seems like that's all any of us know how to do. Rebecca... I just want to be alone right now. I just want to be alone right now. Alright, now let's check our email. Why is everyone whining to me about their problems? I don't give a shit. What the hell do you want me to do about it?
Sorry, this is probably really fucking boring if you're just sitting here watching this. I don't know if I should read these out loud. I've heard my own voice and it's terrible, so I wouldn't want to listen to it, but you could at least put some music or something in the background. What is this? Who is this from? That's corrupt. Huh. Oh, is this from Juno? Maybe it's from Juno. She needs to learn how to punctuate. Yep, must be Juno. At least he's trying to piss him off. That's always fun. All right. Back in the box. Good luck, Desmond. Our troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order and control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these Sarah things moment. I must determine. Of course, for only by knowing Never my look. enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Shin Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Colonel, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. I don't see how drinking beer is going to help, but whatever. What if you... Seems like that's probably a good place to stop for the moment. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.